In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize an image down to smaller pixel dimensions and then properly save it for the web to a particular file size. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open an image. And here I have an image from Michelle Frankfurter, who is an ISPWP member and a great photographer from Washington, DC. So we'll open up that image. And if you want to check the image size, you can go into image, image size. And in this case, this image has, is 900 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. And I want to reduce that down to 720 pixels on the long side, which would be the width in this case. You definitely want to be resizing down to a smaller size. If you resize up to a larger pixel dimensions, you're going to eventually start losing some resolution. It won't look as good. So we're OK here. We're going to go a little bit smaller, so the image should be just fine for our tutorial today. So to make it smaller, we're going to go to File, Automate, Fit Image. And the Fit Image box allows you to adjust the, uh, the, the pixel size for both the width and the height of your image. So that'll work for both a horizontal and a vertical image. In this case, we have a horizontal image, so it's going to reduce our horizontal edge down to 720 pixels. But if you're working with vertical images at the same time, it'll work with either one. So input the 720 into both the height and the width boxes. Say OK and your image will come down to 720 pixels, in this case, on the wide side. So now we have the pixel size correct for what I'm trying to get down to. Now I want to save it for the web to a particular file size. So we're going to go to File, Save for Web, and I have mine set to the 2-up tab, so I can view the original photo on the left and the resized photo on the right. And if you can, you can adjust your quality through the quality slider. And as you can see, at the maximum quality of 100, the file size here is 164K, which is too large than what I want to, that I want to end up with. If I want to get down to 125K, I can just start sliding that quality slider down a bit. And now I'm down to 127K, which is a little bit too high. I go down a bit more, down to a quality of 86. I'm down to 113, which is a little bit below, but you know, the image is still going to look great. I can view it here, and I can drag, and I can just make sure that I don't see a whole lot of JPEG artifacts, and I think the photo will look great even at that size. The second way to do it is to use this little arrow, which is the Optimize menu. If you click on the arrow, you can see an option to optimize to file size. And by going into here, we can see we can actually input the desired file size, in this case, 125K. I'm going to keep my current settings, which means it's going to be a JPEG, and say OK. And as you can see, Photoshop automatically reduced the file size down to, in this case, 124K, and the image will look just great at that uh, file size. So then I just say Save. And I'm going to change my file name to save it as something else. Instead of large, I'll just call it small and save it. And there you go. So that's how you can adjust your pixel dimensions of your image and do a, a file save for web to save it for a a web-sized image down to a particular file size. So there you go.